Hi everyone! My name is Yasuko. Welcome to my another video. In this video, we are going to go over how to maintain your body from handstand training. One of the most common problems after starting handstand practice is that your body cannot manage the sudden drop and heavy load of the training. And we can fix that problem very easily. Let's get started! We use a small chair where you can sit with bent knees at 90 degrees. Find a stick such as a mop, golf stick or something available in your household. Otherwise, I recommend getting a PVC pipe longer than 1 meter just like I have here. Hold the stick in front of your chest, arms extended. Extend your arms overhead. Keep the spine and neck in a neutral position. Now stretch your side of your body towards the right side. Reach the right arm away from your body and keep breathing through the nose. And come back up to the center. We go to the other side. Extend your arms overhead. Exhaling, stretch to the left side. Keep your arms extended. Come back to the center. Again to the right side and this time we will look up. Tuck the chin first and rotate your head. Open your chest. Engage your abdominal muscles by tucking the pelvis in and rotate the shoulders externally. Inhaling, come back to the center. Exhaling to the other side. Keep breathing through the nose. And look up. Slowly come back to the center. Hold the stick in front of your chest again. And start to bend both elbows. Don't lower or lift your elbows, just pull the stick towards your chin. Press down the shoulder girdle. Turn your head upward. Push up your chest. Don't forget breathing. Open up the chest. Slowly come back to the starting position. Let's do the same two more times. Open your chest. Reach the arms overhead away from you. Try to lower the stick further down. Keep the elbows extended. Don't stop breathing. And inhaling, come back down. The next one is another variation combining the scapular rotation. Drop your head between both arms. Arms extended parallel to the floor. Raise your arms to the sky and elevate the scapula. Allow the scapula upwardly rotate. Keep your neck long. Keep your chin tucked in. This is a great stretch to increase the shoulder range of motion and open the chest. Keep going two more times. Move slow and find your stiffness and tightness. Inhaling, come back to the center. Exhaling to the other side. Okay, let's move on to the next stretch. For the next stretch, we will need gymnastic rings. You can also go to the park or find a tree. Hanging can increase your shoulder mobility, shoulder strength, and overall shoulder health. If your shoulders are stiff and tight, and you have a limited overhead range of motion, to speed up your handstand skills, 
I recommend to spend some time passive hanging. Use your feet for support if it is necessary. For muscle release, there is no need to stress your shoulder much for this stretch. Open up the armpit. Just hang for a while. Relax your neck. And drop your head down. Move the scapula a little bit up and down. And slowly rotate your head. Keep your neck long and stretch your arms, shoulders and neck. Keep breathing through the nose deep and slow. Let's have a look at the last stretch for today. One arm passive hang and side body stretch. Again, you can use your feet for support. This passive hanging is also recommended before training. Open up the armpits, move around gently, and find the stiff part of your body. Stay longer where it feels good and need more stretch. Let's do both sides. This is a great way to stretch your whole upper body in one floor. It's about releasing the muscles, not strengthening. Just use your feet to support. And stay as long as you need. The stretches I showed you today can release your upper body muscles and stiffness. Putting your body weight on your wrists, elbows and shoulders is massive stress for your joints and they are compressed from the heavy load. It is a very good idea to provide those areas decompression. If you would like to practice as often as possible to make progress, you can avoid pain or discomfort by maintaining your body. Any pain means always that something is wrong with what you do or how you do it. Preventing injuries means that you can enjoy your practice many, many years to come, and that is what we all wish. I hope this video could inspire you. Please give your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm uploading a new video every Thursday. Please give me your comment below on what kind of topic you would like to know in the future. I will do my best to answer your feedback. Thanks for watching, and see you in my next video.